Hey guys, how is it going? It's your boy Gazza9919 here, um, and you know, for this video, what we're going to be doing is basically, if you do happen to own a Fiesta Mark 6, which is probably the reason why I clicked on this video in the first place, um, like I just thought I'd do a little video on how to change the pollen filter, because it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, and after quite a bit of searching, I finally figured out how to do it, um, so I figured I'd share that experience. So as you can see here, I've got the man filter, um, like where I got it from was a website called Euro Car Parts. If you're looking for that, because that is one of the best sites for car parts, you just enter your registration and there's all the parts for your car. Um, and this is like one of the more expensive ones. I got it on a discount, but it, it does these things. It's for the pollen and, you know, stuff like that. So, like, yeah, you don't get as much bacteria coming in your car and you, you know like diesel fumes but anyway yeah you get the general gist of what a pollen filter is and obviously here it is it's a uh, brand new condition and I'm gonna have a crack at installing this so straight off the bat your uh, pollen filter is gonna be down here on your Ford Fiesta Mark VI, obviously there's a scent column, the gear stick, etc. Uh, there's a little, there's a little bolt there. I don't know if you can see that, or a screw of some sort. Um, in my case, it hasn't really screwed on, so it just pops out really easy. I don't think it should do that. Then this somehow unclips. I haven't actually got to this stage yet of unclipping it, but uh, I'm gonna have a little fiddle around with this. So yeah, basically, you just got to pull that past. This little trim here because it's got that little lip on um, don't be too harsh with it and it should pop out like that and then what we want is this box behind here if you can see that this box right here let me see if I can get some yeah so you want this box here I believe there are three screws for it in total you're gonna need one of these sort of like um, bolts to get it off I forget what the cords uh, I think they're called like swans or something like that, but they're like a star sort of shape. And I'm just going to try and get the right size. Right then, so that is the uh, size I've got, which is the uh, CRV T20 size. I'm just going to put that into a ratchet because that top bolt is not going to be accessible with a screwdriver. Right, so I'll put that into a quarter socket so I can use the uh, socket because, like I said, the screwdriver attachment will not work because it would be too much of, too fiddly and it just, it's, um, you know, a ratchet just makes it well easier to be fair these aren't really in that tight so I'm just going to use my fingers uh, well this top one isn't in that tight anyway I don't know if there's uh, any difference between screw sizes or anything oh that one's tight yeah these bottom ones are kind of tight so I think I'll go back to using ratchet for these ones uh, there we go there we go there we go so I'll loosen them too often and then I can just undo them finger tight wise if that's even a word oh well I'm making it a word there we go cool um yeah the screws are the same size so there's no real worry about any order and taking them out or putting them back in and then that's coming loose so now should in theory oh no oh oh there's actually a fourth bolt it's right next to this silver sort of pipe sorry about that guys I thought I spotted that, that one there you see it also be careful of the silver pipe because it gets very hot like I've noticed that it is absolutely boiling when I can get it there we go there we go cool well there's a couple of pipes around here that are absolutely boiling yeah okay so there's four there's four screws in total well, that's what your panel will look like and if you look there can see our pollen filter so removing that is just a case of a bit of manhandling 
doesn't look crazy that should be white but yeah that's a that's a bit ditched to be fair yeah I think it's good that I'm changing it you know it can be a fresher smell well, it doesn't smell that bad but this new one's better so a thing that you want to take note of before you even put it back in is the airflow which way the airflow is going and remember the air will always travel from the front of your car to the fans obviously so we want the airflow pointing towards us and now we've just got to kind of wrestle this back in somehow right and as we can see that's gone in nice and snugly you know that kind of that went in a lot easier than what I thought it would but just uh, yeah you just want to make sure that airflow is going the correct way and that is pretty much it. You've just got to put everything back together. You know, you've just got four screws on this bracket here. And then you've just got like this side panel that just pretty much clips back into place. So all in all, it's a really, really easy job to do, you know. Right then guys, so that was how to change a pollen filter on a Ford Fiesta Mark 6. If you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of these sort of videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you are not already. And click that bell icon for future uploads guys, if you are that dedicated. But that's it for this video guys, and until the next time, boosh. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy guys, and 9919 here.